serial communication using USART block of PIC microcontroller that is universal synchronous or synchronous receiver transmitter block of PIC microcontroller using this block we can transmit or receive data using RS232 protocol so in PIC microcontroller will use RC6 pin which is used as a transmitter pin to transmit a data serially and RC7 port pin is used as a receiver pin to receive data serially. So here for transmission of data we have to use MAX232 IC which will convert TTL level of this peak microcontroller signal into RS232 signal level and then using RS232 protocol the data can be transmitted or it can be received. So data can be transmitted serially. At the receiver side we can use another peak microcontroller or we can use computer so we'll use here PC to receive a data on its COM port so suppose this is a serial port of PC that is COM port of PC then the received data will be available on this COM port and in PC we can use any free software like hyper terminal software or tera terminal software to read data from the com port serial port so i'll write here transmitter program first the resistors used are associated with USART block of peak microcontroller. So first resistor is SPBGR resistor that is serial port baud rate generator resistor. So according to baud rate we have to calculate a data and that should be stored in SPBGR resistor associated with baud rate. So for writing a transmitter program we will consider baud rate at 9600. So data related to 9600 baud rate should be stored in this serial port baud rate generator resistor. The second resistor uses TXSTA resistor that is transmit status and control register so the status and control register we have to initialize while writing a program for data transmission the third register is RCSTA register it is receive status and control register this register also we have to initialize we will discuss detail of bits of this resistors then next is TXREG resistor that is transfer resistor whatever data we want to transmit that means ASCII value of character which we want to transmit should be stored in TXREG resistor the fifth resistor is RCREG resistor that is receiver resistor so data received by peak microcontroller will be stored in this resistor ASCII value of character which will be received by my peak microcontroller will be stored in this resistor since we are writing transmitter program we will not use this resistor but if you are writing a receiver program then you have to use this resistor the next resistor is PIR1 resistor so it is peripheral interrupt request resistor the one bit that is transmitter flag bit of this resistor should be used to check whether the one character is transmitted or not if the correction of one character is completed 
then TXIF flag is set to 1 by microcontroller and this flag bit is available in PIR1 register. So user can check this flag with the, just to check whether data is transmitted or not. This is the format of 8 bit TXSTA register that is transmit status and control register. The D7 bit of this register is CSRC and it is used to select a clock source in synchronous mode. Since we are going to use asynchronous mode, this bit will be zero for our program. The next is D6 bit and it is TX9 bit. When this bit is set to 1, the 9 bit of data is transmitted. But since we are going to transmit a 8 bit of data, this bit will be 0. This 9th bit can be used as a parity bit while transmission. Next is D5 bit that is TXEN. It is used to enable transmission. So if this bit is set to 1, transmitter block is enabled. So we have to always set this bit as a 1 for transmitter program. The next bit is synchronous bit. If this bit is set to 1, then synchronous mode is enabled. But since we are going to use a synchronous mode, this bit should be 0. The next bit is not used. The next bit BRGH bit is used to select a baud rate. If it is set to 1, then high speed baud rate is used and if it is uh, stored at 0, then low speed baud rate is used. So 9600 baud rate is considered as a low speed baud rate and baud rate above 9600 are considered as a high speed baud rate. So for 9600 baud rate, this bit is set to 0. The next bit is TRMT. It is used for transmit shift register that is TSR register. TSR register is empty. This bit is set to 1 and when TSR register is full, this bit is set to 0. So we will transmit here 0 that will be set or reset by microcontroller. Then the last bit is TX90 bit that is bit number 0. This bit is the ninth bit of data transmission. If it is 0 then ninth bit is transmitted as a 0 and when it is 1 then ninth bit transmitted as a 1. We are not going to use a 9 bit data transmission so this bit will be 0 and this unused bit will initialize as 0. So we will initialize this TXSTA register with a data 0010 and the lower 4 bits are 0000. We can convert it into hex or we will write it as a binary data in TXSTA register. So to initialize TXSTA register with binary number, we can write TXSTA is equal to 0B. This B indicates number is in binary 00100000. So only this bit is set as 1 which is used to enable a transmission. This is 8 bit format of RCSTA register that is receive status and control register. The D7 bit of this register is SPEN and this bit should be set to 1 when we want to enable a serial port. Since we are going to write a program for transmitter, we have to enable this bit as a 1. So even if you are going to write receiver program, this should be enabled to 1. Then RX9, it is used for a receiver. So if it is 1, that means 9 bit reception is enabled. We are going to write transmitter bit. So this will be in don't care condition. So we will initialize it to 0. 
the next beast is SREN it is used for single reception we are not going to write receiver program so this bit is 0 the next bit is for continuous receiver enable bit for transmission program this bit can again initialize to 0 the next bit address detect enable bit that is again used for receiver and these bits are for error detection different different types of error can occur after reception of data so that time these bits are used for transmitter program this will be in don't care condition so we'll write here zero so rcsta register we can initialize with value if we are writing uh, directly binary number so we will write 0b 1000 so we have enable this serial port only all other bits are in don't care condition which we have initialized with value 0 now calculation of data to be stored in SPBRG register that is baud rate generator register. The formula used here is N. Suppose N is the baud rate. So it is equal to oscillator frequency divided by 64 into SPBRG that is data to be stored in SPBRG register plus 1. So if we solve this then SPBRG register data will be equal to F oscillator divided by 64 multiplied by N that is baud rate minus 1. If oscillator frequency is 20 megahertz and we are going to use baud rate that is n is equal to 9600 then using this formula we will get SPBRG is equal to 32 it is in decimal if you convert into hex we will get 20H. So 20H should be stored in SPBRG register for baud rate of 9600. Program to transmit a string. So first include header file P18F4550.h. We will write small delay program void delay unsigned integer i and use for loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than 30,000 i plus plus and we will close this bracket Now write main program, so void main, so we want to transmit string, so first declare this string, unsigned character, any name we can give to string, I am giving name as s, any string which you want to transmit can be declared here or can be stored here. I will transmit this God. So any string can be transmitted here. You have to count number of characters which will use in for loop. So three character string I am transmitting. Then other variables if we need in program will declare that for for loop we will suppose need a I. Now since we are transmitting data using pin or through pin RC6 
so we have to select direction of the spin using tris c bits dot rc6 and we'll initialize it to 0 that means rc6 pin is used as a output pin so for output pin we'll initialize this tris c bits to 0 then next we'll initialize baud rate generation resistor generator resistor spbrg and we have computed a data that is equal to 20 so 0x20 in hex will store data in spbrg resistor according to our baud rate that is 9600 then initialize txsta resistor that is transmitter status and control resistor as we have in we want to initialize it with 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 so according to our application we have initialized this txsta and next is receiver status and control register we have to initialize so that should be initialized with 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 we already computed this value so this is initialization of usart block and now we will transmit this data one character at a time so for that use for loop so for i is equal to 0 i is and or equal to 2 that means I want to transmit three characters 0, 1 and 2 G O D. So I will initialize with this I plus plus. Now we will use one variable. Suppose name of that variable is data. We will read a first character from the string or one by one character from the array. So s of i that means one character will read from string and that is assigned to variable data and this variable or value ascii value of character which is stored in data variable will store in rx reg register that is transfer register so i'll initialize it with data so ascii value of one character at a time will be stored in tx reg register now this character when we will store it in txreg register it will be transmitted serially now we want to check whether the first character is transmitted completely or not if it is transmitted completely we can transmit a next character so for that we have to check whether flag bit is 1 or not if txif flag bit is 1 that means character is transmitted completely so for that we will use while loop so while this bit flag bit is in pir1 register so pir1 bits dot txif transmitter interrupt flag bit if it is 0 then continuously execute this while loop so if it is true if this statement is true execute while instruction if it is false that means if txif bit is 1 then it will come out of the loop and you can transmit we can transmit next character so before transmitting next character we'll call it delay program so this loop will be executed three times since we want to transmit three character and to stop this program we can write here while 1 with semicolon so it will continuously execute this after transmission of program.